Hello, and welcome to this Mixamo workflow using 3D Coat. 3D Coat is a powerful program for sculpting, retopology, and UV mapping. Today, we will be focusing on the retopology tool and how that fits in with our Mixamo workflow. Now you can see here that I have a 3D model of this armadillo man. This model is a 3D scan that I downloaded from the Stanford 3D Scanning Repository. I have already made the mesh symmetrical, as well as adjusted the arms to be in a T-pose. The problem is that, as you can see, the mesh is way too high poly for a game, and also isn't very clean. Ideally, we would have a mesh with a reasonable resolution, nice edge flow, and detail represented in normal maps, rather than geometry. That's exactly what we'll do using 3D Coat. First step is to export the current mesh as an OBJ and launch 3D Coat. Navigate to the tab here that says Voxels and then go to Import, Import Mesh for Voxelizing. Once the mesh comes in, hit Enter to place it and then switch to another tool such as Grow. You can also switch to a different shader if you like. You will likely want to turn on Symmetry at this point. Now under Voxel Tree, select Volume 1 and pick Auto Topo. This is a three-step process. First, set your approximate poly count so that the new mesh is a resolution you want. Click OK. Next, you can paint areas that you anticipate needing more detail. You can see because the symmetry is on, you don't need to paint the other side. Once that is done, click Next and you will be able to begin drawing edge loops. This is a process that lets you define the edge flow of your character. Otherwise, the software will make its best guess. The more edge flow you define, the more accurate the final model will be. Once done, click Next and your lower poly mesh is complete. You can now go to File and select Export Repo Mesh and output the new file into your project folder. At this point, you would do UV Layout, but we'll skip that for this tutorial. The next step is rigging the character. We will obviously be rigging the low poly version, so let's navigate to Mixamo. Go to the Upload Character page and click Upload. Select the low poly mesh and it will take you to the rigging screen. Place the markers, and in just seconds, you will have a character rigged. We will now navigate to the Motions tab and find an animation we like for this character. We found one that looks pretty good, so we'll select Download. We will buy the motion, but the character rigging is free because the character was under 10,000 triangles. Once it is downloaded, we can import it into Maya. The skinning is very nice, but it wasn't quite sure what to do in the jaw area, since this is such a weird character. No worry, we can always go in and just waiting on auto-rigged characters. The last step here is to bake the original high-res mesh into the low-res mesh as normal maps. We will do this using the Transfer Maps feature. If you have never used this feature, it is good to know about for transferring detail into normal maps. Once it is done, you can see the low poly character has detailed normal maps and is ready to be brought into a game engine. Hopefully you can see that the automation provided by Mixmo and 3D Code can greatly speed up your workflow and make some processes that used to be tedious more fun. Thank you for watching.